Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well guys, um, we're closing up some more projects for this new off-grid home. Um, so we finally, I finally finished up running the um, internet wires and the coax cable wires for the TVs. TV and internet of course. Um, I bought um, pre-made wires already. It just made life really easy and simple. Um, instead of trying to make my own, it just came out more cost effective just to buy them the lengths I need and it was no big deal putting them in. But I have them here. I also have identical set on this wall here. An identical set on the opposite side wall there for that room. Then I also have an identical set on this side of the wall here. Uh, I also have an identical set in that bedroom on this wall. And then on this side, I basically have an extra internet wire so I can plug into my um, solar and you know charge controllers and all that stuff when I get ready to install that 48 volt system. So that's I'm going to have a panel either there or over here that way I can just have something running and I can monitor it instead of running out there and just looking at the you know the controller I can just look at the the local app and see what's going on. Uh so we also fish fished over all the lines over into the attic. It just made things a lot easier to run everything over. And I don't know if you guys can see, but we have the black wires, which is all the internet wires. Then we have the white wire, which is the coax um, TV wires. Um, coming through the top plate, comes all the way down, goes to the bottom plate here. Um, I'm, a, I'm, of course, going to um, go ahead and um, secure up the, you know, where the wires go through the floor so I don't have no bugs or anything coming up through there. Um, the, those wires go underneath the house, and I have them all coiled up and secured on the side of the house because down the road when I get ready to hook up the boxes and all this stuff to run all this stuff um, it's it's pretty it's all neat you know so it's all out of the way ready to go so as far as internet wires and TV coax cable wires it's done until a later point when I need to hook up the boxes for everything uh, we also um, I'm trying to get some of this um, insulation squared away because I'm getting ready to start bringing some drywall out uh, so there's like a lot of little crevices, you know, like slivers and small pieces that need to be filled in. So we spent some time filling in all the small little pieces. Uh, and then I'm going to come back and because my electrician is finally done, um, I left a lot of places open. Like I left this bay open, this bay open uh, for my electrician. I also left that one out for my electrician. Uh, there's some other pieces that we left out for my electrician so he could do his job. So um, since he's completely done as far as for now with the actual house, um, we can enclose all this stuff up. So I'm putting all the insulation back in here, uh, making sure we, you know, get it all filled in like it's supposed to. Uh, so that's kind of what we're doing right now in the in the background, just trying to do some pieces here and there. Uh, I am also doing around the um, the <clears throat> can lights. I do need to cut two pieces. This is um, IC rated, so um, you know I could cover it, but uh, I just made a piece here, and I'm gonna cut a piece to go in there, cut a piece to go right next to it over there, and then um, you know that's that's gonna be more than enough. So I needed to copy what I'm doing there, basically for every can light. Um, we also added this piece up in here today, um, yesterday, to get going. We need to finish the piece all the way across. But before we finish up the back here, I still need to run the vent line out through the block. So um, that's why I'm kind of leaving this side open currently until I can address this hole for the vent line and all that stuff. Um, and of course, right here is going to be my attic access. So you guys can see I have a block across here. So my attic access is going to be right here. Um, I am going to, down the, uh, when the electrician comes back out, because I'm going to have him help me do some of the work on my running the AC power from my power room to my house, uh, I'm going to have him add a light up in here with a light switch someplace, um, probably up in here too. Um, that way, you know, once it's all enclosed and if I ever have to go up there and check on things or whatever, at least I can hit a light on and I can see up in my attic, right? Instead of trying to worry about where I'm walking, where I'm stepping, what I'm holding on to and trying to deal with a flashlight. So um, that's going to be down the road though. But yeah, um, I'm just super happy, guys. Um, all I got to do is finish this installation, and I'm ready to drywall that whole room. I'm ready to drywall this whole living room. I'm also ready to drywall this bedroom. So um, yeah, definitely looking good. And you know, moving forward, uh, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything with the bathroom as far as drywall or anything on the walls on either side until the plumber comes out and does his job. And then um, once he's done the sink over here, then we can start enclosing all of this stuff. So, um, you know, I'm really happy. 
And, you know, just so happens that the guys that are doing my footings are starting on Wednesday, which is two days away. So they're going to start. So by the time they finish one or two sides, um, you know, we're going to be already starting to attach drywall. And I told them that I'm not going to slow down for nothing, you know. And they said they had no problem with whatever I wanted to do. They said they'll do what they have to do to get it done. And, and you know, I can do whatever I need to do in the house to start getting things done. Uh, and, of course, the only thing that I'm not going to put in is we're not going to mud any of the drywall yet. We're not going to put tile in yet because... You know, I don't want nothing to break or flex, but we can still mount the panels, the the drywall, but just don't mud the, the seams yet and any of that stuff, you know, kind of leave it, you know, where it's got a gap where it can kind of move around if it needs to until uh, they're completely done. But, you know, we can still move forward and get things going. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I have a lot more videos coming up, a lot more projects getting smashed down. So um, see you guys tomorrow.